looking at the interior of the fully electric Nissan Leaf parked right outside of CAA Manitoba. You look at this car and it looks exactly like any other vehicle, but it is fully electric. Liz Peters joins us from CAA and you've got these cars parked out front so that uh, media and customers alike can take a look and see what an electric car really is all about. Yeah, definitely. We want people to know that these kinds of cars are, they're reliable, they're cost efficient, they're good for the environment because they're zero emission and they're coming to Winnipeg, they're coming to Manitoba. So these are things that people need to open their minds to going forward when they make their next purchase of a vehicle. So you've got the Nissan Leaf and you have another one. Tell us about the other one as well. Yeah, the other one's the Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi Miyav. I know that they've recently started coming to Winnipeg as well, so the price point on the Mitsubishi is in mid $30,000 range, and the Nissan's a little bit more expensive. Um, it's got a little bit more of a powerful battery and has a lot more bells and whistles along with it, too. So this isn't just, um, these cars are coming and there's a lot more to know than just putting your key and go because there's issues with charging, there's things that you do need to know and these cars aren't going to be right for everybody. Even if you want to be environmental and you're thinking about making a switch, they might not be right for you. So tell us why and who should be driving these cars and who maybe shouldn't be. Yeah, well I, the features that I think are most appealing to the majority of people is the cost. It's about a penny a kilometer. Compare that to about six cents a kilometer based on the gas price right now posted at gas stations for a regular vehicle and I mean zero emissions is always appealing to people when we're thinking about the environment and the way we're leaving our world and um, but when you think about the right kind of person for this vehicle it's typically a commuter somebody who maybe lives inside the city limits who isn't really driving very much on the highway a typical charge will take you about 140 kilometers if you're driving in ideal conditions. So 140 kilometers um, to and from work, if you've got somewhere to park it when you get to work, maybe give it a bit of a charge. Um, it's right for a lot of people, but it's not right for everybody. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving, that might be something you might want to consider in making your decision. Well, and people maybe who like to drive down to Minneapolis, for example, on a regular basis to shop or see Vikings games, uh, you're going to have to figure out how to charge in the middle of this trip, and that might not be possible. So anybody who does that sort of thing, this maybe isn't for you at this point. Yeah, definitely. And going forward, we do expect that the batteries are going to become um, more innovative, more efficient, less expensive. Right now, the sticker price of the car is a little bit higher than a typical car because of the cost of the battery. It's about a third of the price of the car is just for the battery alone. So um, going forward, as more of these vehicles are sold and more batteries are being produced, they're becoming more innovative, we do expect the price to go down. Now, obviously, half of the year in Winnipeg, we are spent freezing our butts off and heat in a car is very important. Cameraman Michael had a great question when we walked in and that is how quickly do they heat up? They heat up almost instantaneously. You can actually turn on the Nissan Leaf using your smartphone from inside your house. Oh boy. <laughs> the, the, it actually has two different batteries. So one that actually charges some of the bells and whistles like the windshield wipers and the heated seats. That doesn't affect your range. So, um, but once you turn on the in interior car warmer, the fan and the heater, that's when it'll start to affect your range. It could take down your kilometers that you can get by about 20%. So on a cold winter day, you got your heated seats running. That should be enough. Heated steering wheel, it's also a nice feature, but when you turn on that extra fan, that's when you really start to have to worry and keep an eye on the range that your car can get. Well, so much information, and as Liz mentioned off the top, a lot more of these uh, hybrid and electric vehicles are showing up on the roadways in Manitoba. Uh, I assume that CAA is always available to give people information about this stuff, as you are about so many different things. We want people to be able to come to ask us these questions. We've got a survey that we want people to fill out to give us some feedback, and they can get that survey on our website at getcurrent.ca. And we've also got a really fun contest that we're hoping that a lot of young people will take part in. We want a license plate identity. So we're going to get personalized plates for our vehicle. All they have to do is go and enter their seven digit license plate idea. Someone here in the office yesterday had the best idea. I think it was zero CO2. Nice. Yeah. So too bad he's an employee, so he can't win. But uh, there's lots of good ideas out there. So we really hope that some people will log on to getcurrent.ca and enter the contest. There's also a $100 pull park gift certificate plus a really funky Bluetooth that goes along with the winner. All right. Liz Peters from CA, thank you so much for all this info today. Thanks. Thank you.